The Nigerian government has declared a state of emergency following rising maternal and child mortality rates. The government is pledging to establish a national emergency center to address the issue. Nigeria has one of the highest rates of maternal, newborn and under five child mortality in the world. CGTN's Deji Badmas reports. This is what a typical primary health care center in most areas of rural Nigeria looks like. And that is in places where one even exists. The health care center located in a remote community in Nigeria's northwest Zamfara state lacks all the basic requirements the country's National Primary Health Care Development Agency says a primary health care center should have. No doctor, no pharmacist, no staff nurse, no labor room, children and female wards, no ambulance, and much more. This is at the very heart of what has been driving up Nigeria's maternal and child mortality rate in the last three decades. It's estimated that every day, Nigeria loses 2,300 children under five years old and 145 women of childbearing age. Most affected are rural communities where healthcare facilities are often non-existent and where it is available, it is poorly equipped. There is also an issue of inequality because not, it's not every person or every community or every class of people that are dying the same. They are the poorest who are dying the more. They are them who are there in the remotest villages difficult to reach without health facility who are dying more than those who are, who are better off. Health authorities in Nigeria are taking what they describe as a decisive action to address the age-old problem. The country's National Primary Health Care and Development Agency has now declared a national emergency on maternal, newborn and child deaths, vowing to reverse the trend. We commit to urgently take action to provide leadership to rapidly reverse maternal, newborn, and child deaths by half by 2021 through interventions that target the primary health care and community levels. The agency is also setting up what it calls emergency maternal and child health intervention centers at both federal and state levels to work to achieve its targets. Our third commitment is that for every death of any woman that is related to childbirth, we will provide toll-free numbers for Nigerians to call. We will take steps to investigate such deaths and respond within the ambience of the law in order to raise the sense of accountability for such preventable deaths. Nigeria has around 30,000 public primary health centers across the country, but less than 20% of them is fully functional, according to a survey by non-governmental agency, Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC. Turning around the state of these health centers would dramatically reverse the trend in Nigeria's maternal and child mortality rate. Deji Badmo, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.